How's it going everyone? Logan Anderson here, allstrongfitness.org, back with another video for you today. What we are going to talk about is a actual review video of a barbell that I use for my home gym pretty frequently throughout my days. So the barbell that I am actually referring to is the one right here. It is the Cap Barbell Beast Barbell. It's um, one of the cheaper barbells on their line of barbells. Um, but we're going to do a little breakdown video for you today um, of just what I think, uh, just some general opinions on it. And um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for starters, if you did actually want to pick one of these up, you can look in the Amazon link down below to grab yourself one of these barbells. But the first thing we're actually going to talk about when it comes to this barbell is just the overall build. Um, when it comes to the metal, the end here is a, um, it's nice and chrome and um, it's in pretty good condition. I, I will be completely honest. I don't take the best care of this. Um, I don't uh, wash it and kind of um, keep up with the metal as frequently as I should. But even so, there's very little rust on these chrome ends here. Um, there's a tiny bit that's kind of coming onto the middle part of this um, knurling. But um, for the most part, the overall build of the metal is actually super, super solid. And um, overall, I really... Um, I really like the feeling of it. It feels solid. It feels sturdy. Um, it doesn't feel like um, potentially the bar would bend at any point. Um, this thing can hold a lot of weight. I haven't really tested a max load for it, but um, I know it can hold a pretty, pretty good weight if you were um, to some succumb into that. But um, in addition to that, the knurling itself, I am a super big fan of. This is not a type of knurling that's actually going to be um, super, super gritty for you. So if you're somebody who does um, hook grip um, and you know you can't do something where it's almost like a cheese grater knurling, this is a uh, pretty, it's, it's sort of fine, but it's also um, a little smooth and it's kind of hard to describe, but it's a pretty solid knurling, especially for the fact that this is a budget barbell. I believe at the time I purchased this, I got it for around $120. Um, it was had like a 10% coupon code. So um, yeah, again, back to the knurling. Knurling super good um, condition. The only bad thing I will notice with this knurling is it doesn't go all the way down. So there's actually a slight, um, a slight um, couple inches here at the end of the bar where there is no knurling. So um, if you're somebody who snatches or does Olympic lifting or a super wide grip movement, notice that there will not be any knurling all the way down there. I will say, even though I do do snatching, since I don't actually reach all the way down there, um, it doesn't really become an issue for myself. Um, but if you're somebody who's just a normal gym goer, you're doing your uh, bench press, deadlift, rows, different things like that, likely that little um, knurling difference at the end is not going to make a big deal. In addition to that knurling topic, the middle of this is completely smooth. So if you're somebody who likes um, having kind of knurling on your back when you're doing those back squats, there is no center knurling. So um, that might be a deal breaker for you. I kind of like not having a center knurling because I catch cleans a lot and do a lot of front squats. So that can kind of dig into my front. So um, I, I kind of enjoy that. But again, it's totally preference um, for you. The next thing we'll talk about is pricing. As I mentioned, pricing is super, super good for this. I got this on a super good discount when I first got it for myself. Um, and overall, it's uh, definitely, definitely well worth the price tag in my eyes. Um, the next thing we'll kind of go into here is the um, actual bearings in the bar. So something when you're you know looking for a good barbell is bearings that spin. And for the most part, these actually have a pretty good, um, about, I would say six to seven second spin on the bearing. So um, not, nothing like an Alico bar. Um, again, though, I don't maintain these super well. I only put some WD-40 in uh, every once in a while and um, spin them through the groove. So for the most part, the bearings are super solid. Um, and I actually do do a lot of Olympic lifts with these specific um, bearings. Like they, they are comfortable enough that I can actually catch snatches, catch cleans, and um, do all those complex movements and not really have any issues um, when it comes to the bearings. So. so as I again mentioned, this is a great overall barbell. You can do different things like rows with it. So you can do rows, you can even do some overhead press, bring them all the way up here. I'm even somebody who I like to do Olympic lifts. So you could do something like a clean, 
Um, you know, you can come out here. You can even do a snatch with these two. Again, the bearings are super, super good in this um, for the most part. Um, all things considered, the fact that it is a budget barbell, um, it really does get its money worth. So overall, I would definitely recommend this bar to anyone who's looking to start a budget home gym. Um, it is a super good option. And while that will honestly get you started and get you going, I still use this um, pretty frequently throughout my days. Uh, it's a really good option. So again, I'll put that link down below in the Amazon description box um, for you. So you can go grab one of these. Um, I actually purchased it on Amazon specifically because I got the free shipping from it. So again, I'll put that link down below for you to go grab them for yourself. But hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you do have any comments or questions down below on uh, different aspects of the bar that I did not touch, feel free to leave it and I'll hopefully be able to guide you in the right direction. Thank you so much for checking this video, uh, clicking on it and joining me for this. Check out allstrongfitness.org for more fitness and health information and we'll see you in that next video.